Hey, it's Joe Tamargo from WetHeadPumpRepair.com. All right, we're back with the Hydromax Spa Pump. So if you're watching the premium DVD, you didn't even hear me say that, but if you're up on YouTube, check it out, okay? Uh, we're going to give you a little snippet here from their premium content. I'm going to show you some more stuff on the Hydromax. Now, in the earlier videos, okay, we showed you how to break this bad boy apart. We took out the armature. We took off the seal. Uh, we didn't take off the seal. We took off the impeller. We took off the whole part, the whole wet end, and explained everything to you. So if you want to catch those other parts, you can either buy the premium DVD where everything is grouped into one section. You can just watch the whole thing forward. Uh, or you can, you know, go through YouTube and watch every one of the videos individually. Also, all parts are available at wetheadpumprepair.com. Okay, we got the kit here, which I'm going to be showing you how to use in this video. It comes with the two bearings and the seal that we will be using actually in the video. A lot of times people always ask us, how do I know I'm getting the right parts? Well, we're using them in the video. Okay, here you go. This is kit 1202, okay? So there you go. Okay, so what we're going to be doing here is I'm going to be using one of my bearing pullers and a lot of the other videos you see me doing on YouTube, the 500 other ones we have, uh, sometimes I use this bigger puller. Uh, today I'm going to be using the smaller puller here because on the Hydromax, it's got a really small fan that's really close to that front bearing. So if I went to use the bigger puller, uh, I would have a hard time and major difficulty trying to get the jaw behind there. And it basically wouldn't work. It would probably break, wind up breaking the fan. So now I'm going to use a smaller model, okay? I'm going to use a smaller model puller, okay? And I'm going to put it there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my three jaws and I'm going to place them behind the bearing, okay? This way it will grab the bearing. And now once I do that, I'm going to tighten my one part of my puller here, just like this, okay? And then I got my jaws tight behind that bearing, just like that. Now I'm going to tighten my center screw, okay, into the center of the shaft. Now a lot of the videos you see me putting the, like the socket on the shaft, and I always tell you, hey, make sure you put a socket on the shaft to don't bust it up. But this, this is such a small shaft, and uh, sorry, I had an itch there in my head, wool hat, a little cold out here in the garage. Okay, anyway, so we got it. We got a smaller bearing puller there, okay. So just like that, all right. See it now with the bearings will start coming off. It's, this is a nice puller to use. Um, I'm not going to promote any company, but it's a, it's a nice cup, it's puller to use. So you could use any kind of puller you want, but just turn it nice and slow. And as you do that, you'll see the bearing come off. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to move the camera forward. And we're going to let you see an up close look at how to hook on the puller and also how to pull up the bearing. And then after that, we're going to remove the rear bearing. And then after we move the rear bearing, we're going to install the two bearings. All right, so make sure you subscribe. All parts are available at wetheadpumprepair.com. This is kit number 001202, uh, which comes with the two bearings and the seal. We're reusing re re to build, rebuild the Hydromax. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.